Yeah, hi, Lauren. Steve, legislation like this has taken hold in Republican-controlled state houses across the country, and now Republican lawmakers here say it's time for North Carolina to take the same steps. But opponents say it will only make casting a vote more difficult, and they worry that it will prolong an unsavory pattern of voter suppression. To our North Carolina lawmakers, this is not a game. Your unchecked power is a remnant of Jim Crow that disproportionately silences black voters and manipulates voting to lock in your own power in perpetuity. Tonight, the debate over SB 747 intensifying. The sweeping bill would shift the deadline for mail-in and absentee voting from three days after Election Day to 7.30 p.m. on Election Day. It would also make ballots cast by those who registered the day of provisional and require new signature verification using software to match a voter's signature without on record. But it goes back to what someone named Paul Weirich said back in the 1980s, which is lots of people talk about getting everyone to vote. I don't want everyone to vote. I want the people who agree with me to vote. Common Cause North Carolina opposes the legislation, which they say will disproportionately impact older voters, low-income people, and voters of color. There are just a lot of things that make it harder for, for people who don't have a lot of resources to vote. Andy Jackson of the conservative-leaning John Locke Foundation says despite the GOP's recent success in North Carolina, this bill isn't about that. They think that if they shore up some of these uh, loopholes we have in the current law, tighten up election administration, that that will instill more confidence in the public and, and help them believe that the, their vote actually has a meaning. Governor Cooper has vetoed similar legislation in the past, including efforts to push up the deadline for mail-in ballots. But Jackson says recent wins have the North Carolina GOP feeling emboldened. There are super majorities in both chambers, so I'm pretty sure Republicans have probably had discussions among themselves before they even put this bill up. And it's going to override the veto in all likelihood. And despite the speed this legislation is moving with, historical data suggests that elections in North Carolina have been quite secure. A Board of Elections audit of the 2016 elections found two cases of voter impersonation statewide and no instances of ballot stuffing or equipment tampering. We're live in Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11. Eyewitness News. Yeah, it was just introduced last week and it appears to be on the fast track there at the legislature tonight, Sean. Thank you.